In geometry, the angle bisector theorem is concerned with the relative lengths of the two segments that a triangle side is divided into by a line that bisects the opposite angle. It equates their relative lengths to the relative lengths of the other two sides of the triangle. Topic: Theorem. Consider a triangle ABC. Let the angle bisector of angle A intersect side BC at a point D between B and C. The angle bisector theorem states that the ratio of the length of the line segment BD to the length of segment DC is equal to the ratio of the length of side AB to the length of side AC. B D D C equals A B A C. Display style frac BD DC equals frac AB AC, and conversely, if a point D on the side BC of triangle ABC divides BC in the same ratio as the sides AB and AC, then AD is the angle bisector of angle A. The generalized angle bisector theorem states that if D lies on the line BC, then B D D C equals a B sin D A B A C sin D A C Display style frac B D D C equals frac A B sin angle dab A C sin angle dac. This reduces to the previous version if A D is the bisector of B A C. When D is external to the segment BC, directed line segments and directed angles must be used in the calculation. The angle bisector theorem is commonly used when the angle bisectors and side lengths are known. It can be used in a calculation or in a proof. An immediate consequence of the theorem is that the angle bisector of the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle will also bisect the opposite side. Topic Proofs Topic Proof One In the above diagram, use the law of signs on triangles ABD and ACD. Angles BDA and ADC form a linear pair, that is, they are adjacent supplementary angles. Since supplementary angles have equal signs, sin B D A equals sin A D C display style sin angle B D A equals sin angle A D C angles bad and dac are equal. Therefore, the right hand sides of equations one and two are equal, so their left hand sides must also be equal. B D D C equals A B A C display style frac B D D C equals frac A B A C, which is the angle bisector theorem. If angles bad and dac are unequal, equations one and two can be rewritten as A B B D sin B A D equals sin B D A display style frac A B B D sin angle bad equals sin angle B D A A C D C sin D A C equals sin a d c display style frac ac dc sin angle dac equals sin angle adc angles bda and adc are still supplementary so the right hand sides of these equations are still equal so we obtain a b b d sin b a D equals A 
C D C sin D A C Display style frac A B B D sin angle bad equals frac A C D C sin angle DAC which rearranges to the generalized version of the theorem. Topic Proof two Let D be a point on the line BC, not equal to B or C and such that AD is not an altitude of triangle ABC. Let B1 be the base foot of the altitude in the triangle AB through B and let C1 be the base of the altitude in the triangle ACD through C then, if D is strictly between B and C, one and only one of B1 or C1 lies inside triangle ABC and we may assume without loss of generality that B1 does. This case is depicted in the adjacent diagram. If D lies outside of segment BC, then neither B1 nor C1 lies inside the triangle. DB1B and DC1C are right angles, while the angles B1DB and C1DC are congruent if D lies on the segment BC that is, between B and C and they are identical in the other cases being considered, so the triangles DB1B and DC1C are similar triple A, which implies that B D C D equals B B one C C one equals A B sin B A D A C sin C A D Display style frac B D C D equals frac B B underscore one C C underscore one equals frac A B sin angle bad A C sin angle cad. If D is the foot of an altitude, then B D A B equals sin B A D and C D A C equals sin D A C display style frac B D A B equals sin angle bad text and frac C D A C equals sin angle DAC and the generalized form follows topic history The angle bisector theorem appears as Proposition 3 of Book VI in Euclid's Elements. According to Heath 1956, p. 197, Volume 2, the corresponding statement for an external angle bisector was given by Robert Simpson who claimed that Papus assumed this result without proof. Heath goes on to say that Augustus de Morgan proposed that the two statements should be combined as follows. If an angle of a triangle is bisected internally or externally by a straight line which cuts the opposite side or the opposite side produced, the segments of that side will have the same ratio as the other sides of the triangle, and, if a side of a triangle be divided internally or externally so that its segments have the same ratio as the other sides of the triangle, the straight line drawn from the point of section to the angular point which is opposite to the first mentioned side will bisect the interior or exterior angle at that angular point. <laughs> 